A stakeholder meeting was held so that represented agencies and citizens could air their concerns about the challenges facing persons with disabilities. The issue of ease of access to public spaces and the rights of differently abled were high on the agenda. Human rights and the government. So if a state, state of inertia, okay, you have, a, you have state action. State action, that's what we're here for today, state action can promote or violate human rights. State inaction can also lead to human rights violations. So when a state does not protect a particular population, definitely that person's rights, these people's rights are also being violated by your inaction or the action of the state to have policies or laws that actually violate human rights. Ms. Ernest spoke of the recent motion which would be carried by the Inter-American Unit for Disabilities. Inter-American Convention on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities I heard that we are in the process of ratifying. But when we ratify or see to these conventions, um, we have a right to protect the rights of the constituents um, the conventions refer to. So the government accomplishes this by establishing laws, policies. There's also important obligations, like I said. You can observe there's a pattern when it comes to the updates. But I guess we will discuss further in terms of um, identifying gaps. The minister with responsibility for the disabled highlighted the importance of ensuring inclusive spaces in society. He says more discussions will be held with stakeholders and the government to close the gaps. Today we are here to address some of the challenges faced by the persons with disability. And this gathering brings together individuals from various agencies who have dedicated their lives to improving the lives of those persons with disabilities. And I think that this type of conversation is a long overdue. For far too long in this country, disability and issues that surround it have not been given the type of attention that it rightfully deserves. And today, we have an opportunity to change that. He highlighted his unwavering commitment to normalizing the lives of persons with disabilities since the issue is close to home for him. As a person with a disability myself, I can tell you that this cause is deeply personal to me and I am committed not half-heartedly, I am committed wholeheartedly and without any kind of reservation to doing everything that I can to improve the lives of persons with disability across St. Lucia. And my commitment comes from a deep understanding that what I'm doing here today is not just for persons with disability, but it's actually for myself, it's actually preparing the future that I am going to have to inherit. Minister Norbert thanked the Ministry of Equity, which has partnered with his ministry. More discussions will be held with various organizations which will deal with issues affecting persons with disabilities so that their members can be assisted and empowered. For the DBS Newsworld, Manasseh Stanislas reporting.